Motion by helmet. Welcome to Minutes by Minutes. I'm Elgin Nichols. And I'm Dave Kenny. And we're here to talk about what goes on in the village, the township. You know those guys that make uh, regulations and laws that affect you out there. That's right, Elgin. And whether you live in the village of Leonard, the village of Oxford, Oxford Township, or Addison Township, these are the people that you went and elected. Yeah. And the commissions and the committees that make decisions that directly affect you. Whether you chose to go to that huh, meeting or not, that would affect your taxes, and the result could be a taxing situation just because you didn't show up. So that's why we're here. <laughs> yeah, yes, and also to spread rumors somewhat over here. So anyway, what you want to do... I've got a sinking uh, feeling here. <laughs> right. If you did not attend any of these meetings, you <clears throat> may want to tune in and see what happened because <laughs> we have kind of a special take on what went on, don't we? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> through okay. rose-colored lenses. No, maybe not. <laughs> right. And uh, you may find a little humor here because <clears throat> it's just an extension of the humor that goes on if you don't attend these meetings at the, to at the township level and village level and so forth. There can be some humor that comes back to bite you later. Sometimes black humor. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <clears throat> but let's talk about several meetings that occurred. Uh, one was the Addison Township uh, Planning Commission meeting, and uh, another one was the uh, Leonard Village Council meeting, and... The third one is Pollyann Trail meeting, and if we get time, we'll talk about the Village of Oxford uh, meeting that they had uh, with the Village Council. Okay. Shall we? Yep. Okay. Let's head into the <clears throat> Madison Township meeting. The first two meetings are rather short meetings, so shouldn't take long to cover these. Uh, Lauren Smith, of course, is the uh, chairperson for the Planning uh, Commission for Addison Township. When did that meeting occur? Um, that's a good question. It happened three days ago. Oh, good. You got it? You remember what three days ago was? Not a clue. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. You might want to take a note. Anyway, so it was a recent meeting. And um, let me see. Lauren Smith serves on that board as a chair. Uh, Gene uh, uh, Bulwark serves on that board also as a vice chair. And uh, Linda Garrick, uh, Philip uh, Marshall, Chuck Sargent, and Joel Schnur. Uh, Joel was uh, not at this particular meeting. Came, well, actually, he showed up late. Uh, he did attend finally, but he wasn't there for the roll call. <clears throat> okay. But uh, Joe is usually pretty punctual on this. I'm sure he had a reason. He did. He was in the hospital, I think, or he was getting some medical treatment a while back. Well, I guess that's acceptable. Uh, it could be. <laughs> <laughs> it may not be in Addison Township because they're tough out there. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um, they did the pledge, of course, went through the preliminaries, uh, the agenda. Everything was covered. Uh, they covered the minutes, and it was approved for August 8th uh, meetings, which would have been a month uh, earlier. And the uh, first thing that they wanted to deal with was a resolution uh, for mm -hmm. the community park, recreation, um, open space, greenway, master plan. That and, was a title? Yeah, that's <laughs> what it was. It covered all those areas. It had to do with uh, parks and rec. And Rand Bowman is the uh, planner, and he gave the presentation for that. It was rather short and sweet and recommended that they go forward with it. And, of course, they took a vote, and they did did get approved. The other one was a resolution of um, the master plan. And he said that uh, to change the master plan wasn't really necessary <coughs> because it was based on, uh, let's say, about, <coughs> um, trying to think, 2002. Mm -hmm. uh, the population of Addison Township was 6,207 people. Back and then? It actually has declined. It's declined? It's declined to 5,770 people now. People have actually moved out. So well, they, you they, folks that they, want some nice breathing air. I guess, but it'd be interesting nice to trees. find out. It'd That's be interesting to, to find out why the causes of that movement uh -huh. occurred. Right, but <coughs> the master uh, plan. He said um, <coughs> the uh, planner said that there's no <coughs> problem in keeping it just the way <coughs> it is because nothing has actually has changed other than. It's decreased in terms are, of are all municipalities on the same schedule of renewing their master plan, or is it kind of... Every five years. Every five years is different for each one, no. or it's all the same for the state? It's all the same for the state. So it all has to be turned in at the same time, basically, uh, well, with some flexibility. Well, it's not actually turned into anything. It's actually the roadmap for future development right. for that particular township or village. But it all occurs within the same time period for all municipalities? Yeah, sure, within a certain year. So you can be a little bit late on it. You don't have to be right on right, schedule. Right, right, right. 
uh, but you would need to do everything in your power to try to get it within five years. For example, the township is just ready to conclude theirs with Oxford Township. I guess what I was asking was, is each five-year period exactly the same, or are they no. out of step with each other? Could be out of step. <clears throat> okay, all right, that's yeah. what I was asking. Could be, might be, <clears throat> probably would be, <laughs> depending on where you are. Well, as long as you're that definite, I, let's go on. Depending <laughs> on what time zone you're in, you know? <laughs> Could make a difference. No. So anyway, uh, they ask if the public <laughs> wanted to speak, and um, <coughs> I don't know if you remember Chuck uh, Peranian, Pre no. I think his name? Chuck? He was on the uh, Parks and Rec. Okay. Anyway, nice guy, <laughs> sharp, uh, has served on that board for a long time, and he said that he would thank uh, the board for going forward and, and uh, uh, approving the resolution, you know, for the Parks and Rec. The other uh, thing was the final response about, um, um, let me see, frequency, safety at the tower. Uh, there's a, a letter. The tower? Yeah. The, remember the large tower they were putting up? The communications tower? Oh, oh, a cell tower. Yeah. And remember people <coughs> were complaining that there's a problem in terms of frequency uh, damaging, hurting people, you know, in terms of uh, radiation and so forth. Frying their chickens before Fry, they're ready? Frying their chickens <laughs> or their eggs before they even could cross the street. <laughs> One of those things. But anyway, the letter was a scientific letter and it was read by the uh, chairperson that it's <coughs> been pretty much stipulated that there's no problems with the um, radiation or um, microwaves that are given off the towers. So in older, in, older, in older times they used to say that was more radiation coming off your television, but since everything is LCDs now, right. it ain't so. Well, I think they said <coughs> something in the neighborhood of uh, three times less than what you get off your regular cell phone. Oh, really? So it's actually more dangerous to use your cell phone, according to this letter. So. <laughs> That being said, that which wouldn't work at all if it wasn't for the cell phone tower. That's true. <laughs> yeah, where would you be without a cell phone tower? Huh. huh. Chicken and egg, isn't it? <laughs> it is. Just exactly like that, isn't it? Okay. Well, that takes care of Aston Township. It's rather short. Uh, the next one is actually shorter, and it's Leonard Village Council. And uh, Mike <coughs> McDonald serves as the president of that board. Shar Sotherby is on the board. Uh, she serves as the vice chair. And then you have Paul Al, Al Morani. Uh, Almorenti, Al yes. Come again? Almorenti. You got it? Okay. Um, I would think that's probably Italian, huh? Good guess. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll say it is. Not 100%, not. but Another a good rumor. guess. <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, Paul will probably agree with that, I hope. <laughs> anyway, uh, Larry Hoffman is on the board and uh, Mr. Kennedy is on the board. Uh, they had, um, let me see, uh, Cin Cindy uh, Crosscough. She's the... Uh, <clears throat> Uh, clerk, and she was there, and the treasurer hmm. also was there. What's this? Who's the Judy treasurer? Verse. Judy Verse? Judy Verse. See, I knew you were going to ask that question. Judy Verse. Got it spelled right. Yep, it's correct. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so they did the pledge, and of course, they, they had really a short <clears throat> meeting, and they wanted to cover, you know, the accounting uh, accounts payable. And so, you know, they have four different funds there, right? Right. You got a general fund, <clears throat> they got a major fund, a local fund. And of course, the Pollyann, or not Pollyann, but the uh, uh, Parks and Rec Fund that they use. And the general fund came in at 5,766.96. The major <coughs> fund came in at, uh, let me see, $12,352.19. And the local fund came in at uh, $17,921.09. Actually, that's pretty considerable for Leonard. And they're in the black. They're in the black. Okay. With that, we like that idea. We'll be back right after this. <laughs> They're in the black. Welcome back to Minutes by Minutes. I'm Elgin Nichols. Hi, I'm Dave Kenny, and I'm a little taller than last yeah. time. <laughs> We've been talking about village council <laughs> meetings and so forth, right? That's right. I get a sinking <laughs> feeling when I'm sitting next to you. <laughs> <laughs> he has a chair that itself adjusts over here, so if he happens to shrink as we're talking, <laughs> hydraulics on it, I don't think are working quite the way could, they should be. Could be a one-man show. We could talk to you about a diet, by the way. <laughs> I don't think that's it. Hey. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about the Pollyann Trail, shall we? Shall we. And that just occurred uh, November 15th, which was <laughs> yesterday. Uh, Mike McDonald chairs that board. Mm -hmm. uh, Curtis uh, Wright is on the board, and he's the vice chair. 
uh, serves as a clerk, of course, for Oxford Township. And then you've got uh, Donnie <coughs> Steele, who she she is a treasurer for uh, Orient Township. Okay. And she serves on the board as well. Bruce uh, Pearson, who's the supervisor of You Folks Know, has some township. And uh, he was absent for this particular meeting, had something else pressing, taking care of uh, township business. Not a shirt. <laughs> right. <laughs> Eric Sent, who is also uh, a trustee at Edison Township, and he was there, and he's on the board. Uh, Sue Basardin, and she, of course, is the president of the Village Council of Oxford. Oxford. Mm -hmm. They chimed and, in. Right. And actually, uh, Dave Bailey was there <laughs> as an alternate to the position. Uh, but I'm not all sure that uh, he's going to be the alternate. According to their assignments, which we'll get to the village council meeting next, uh, actually Eric Dolan, I believe, was, uh, was the alternate on that uh, particular board. So anyway, we'll get to that Seem one Seem to be alternating alternates. Alternate? Yeah, alternating <laughs> alternates. Uh, Alex uh, Kennedy um, serves on the board and of course I do and Kevin Green is a citizen's rep and by the way Kevin Green is a pretty knowledgeable guy and for a citizen he uses the uh, Pollyann Trail quite extensively and uh, he observes things uh, that you know need to be brought to attention by the board and uh, very you know his input is very well uh, accepted and liked okay and that would be Kevin Green and uh, Linda <coughs> Moran who is the trail manager was there and one mm -hmm. of the first things that happened during this meeting was that she gave her report which was rather interesting but there's a little bit of other information I want to present also and uh, as we go along here they did the pledge of course uh, they approved uh, the bills for four thousand eight hundred forty three dollars and sixty four cents you can whip out your checkbook now if you want penny here penny there pretty penny soon you're saved. talking real money <laughs> it could be yeah it, it counts it, I mean it adds up uh, new business, 2017 budget amendment was made, uh, which is uh, pretty much, you know, part of the procedures. Uh, you make adjustments this time of the year to the budget. Uh, Linda Moran uh, gave her report, but before she gave a report, it was uh, noted that she was actually assaulted physically, Ass uh, physically on the trail. On the trail? On the trail. She was uh, doing work on the trail. And uh, this guy comes up uh, with a motorized vehicle, just barely getting by, and scraped her vehicle on the way by. And so she informed him that you aren't allowed to have motorized vehicles on the trail. And he got very obnoxious. He leaped out of his vehicle, ran over, pulled her out of her cart that she was driving, a four-wheeler, and um, injured her. And, wow, uh, she called the police? Did call the police called the police and uh, officers came by the swarm mm -hmm. uh, as you would <coughs> suspect did they catch the guy knows. oh yeah they caught him they had a helicopter out even and tracked him wow and she made the identity and he was taken away to a happy little home in jail for a while don't mess with the trail manager no <laughs> so anyway there that one isn't finished yet and i believe that there probably could be civil um, or for that matter anybody else on here. the trail Yep. Leave them alone. Right. There are regulation rules for everybody's safety. And if you violate those, you can expect that you might find a little home Bad also. enough. Bad enough he Not was a driving a motorized vehicle, much less hitting her vehicle. Yeah, he hit her vehicle, too. So I think he was aiming at her originally. But oh. anyway, that's hard to say. But she's she seems to be doing fine now. Good. Um, Good. She was injured. Um, and she was you know checked out and everything and given uh, free spirits and told her to hit the, hit the trail. <laughs> Free spirits? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what you call drugs. <laughs> okay, anyway, so hit the trail, so she's back on the trail again. Can you sing that song? No, on the trail again, or whatever it is. Okay, anyway, so she's doing a great job, uh, Linda is, and it's unfortunate that uh, <coughs> there are people out there, uh, such as this individual, but he's <laughs> not through paying yet, I don't think. So we'll see what happens here. I he's think got a, a ticket choice. to ride. <laughs> he's got a ticket to ride somewhere. So anyway, so uh, let me see what happened next. Um, okay, heavy equipment. Okay, there was there's a couple of other legal situations on the trail. One guy uh, is using the trail to move his heavy equipment for his farm, using the trail. Does he come across way. the trail, or does he go along the he trail? Goes along the trail and across it, over to his <coughs> other piece of property that he has. Now he had a road, a lane that he could take with a bridge across a, a creek 
yeah. uh, which he used to take when his um, combine was considerably smaller, but he bought a new one. Uh, so rather than reworking his road, he just took it upon himself to take the trail because the trail is wider. Can't do that. Shame, shame. So now what? So now that that's the situation <coughs> with the uh, DNR. They've been alerted <laughs> to it. Uh, there's litigation <laughs> with this guy. And actually, he's been cited before. <laughs> Um, and he lost a case, I think. It, is his property separated by the trail? It is separated by the trail, my understanding. Uh, uh, two separate pieces of property. So, And he has lost <clears throat> this thing before, I understand. So it's about coming to a head now. I believe it's in front of the attorney general at this point. So So does he, does he have to, come. like, build a new crossing or what? No, he can't cross the Pollyann Trail without approval. But he, I mean, had, but he, he had a smaller vehicle, he had a smaller unit before and was able to use a bridge. He was able to use his own property for that and cross the bridge that he had. So well, maybe he has property. to build a new bridge. He probably would. Well, he's got to and that, I don't think he want to put the money forward. Okay. And I think that's where the issue came <clears throat> about. But anyway, so there's these little things that are happening. <clears throat> there's another guy also on Tanview uh, area that uh, he's actually encroached uh, the Pollyann Trail by roughly about 20 feet and he built a berm uh, to separate his property from the trail but it's about it's not on his property on, it's on their yeah, property right he decided oh. to set up camp you know on the Pollyann Trail which is not going to work out either so well, he, a couple of earth movers can solve that well, yeah, it could be, <laughs> and at his expense, too, but I think, uh, you know, it's still, as far as the approach uh, on how to handle this one is uh, before the DNR also. Are we talking a significant berm here? Uh, yeah, well, it's property, you know, in, in encroachment. Mm -hmm. I mean, you just can't decide you're going to set up a fence you know, on property that's not yours, or you can't is it, is it use his property pro that's not well, yours. Well, is it his property, or... Is it like an easement for the Pollyann Trail? No. no. There's there's no easements unless it's approved by the board. Okay. And um, usually if there's a situation, you know, the board tries to Well, work. the Pollyann Trail originally was a railroad. Bed, it was. Which had easements. Yeah. Well, some of it was railroad. Not all of it is. Okay. So, you know, and you're right. DNR has deeded, you know, the property. So mm -hmm. it belongs rightfully to them. And it's for the public, for you folks out in the public to use and enjoy from a safe standpoint. You don't want to have big old combines going down your down Balian Trail, you know, and you've got your uh, dog Fido and oh, I don't know, the maybe along. maybe they work out a deal with them to harvest all the weeds on the side. I don't know. <laughs> well, actually, they allowed him to <coughs> go across at one time uh, to give him <coughs> one time uh, opportunity. <coughs> yeah. But he didn't take the opportunity. He somehow found a way to get this large combine across the bridge and on his property and didn't take the trail that particular time when they offered it. Same so, combine. Same combine. So, very interesting stuff. And uh, for more of this stuff, we'll be back right after this. Wow. Welcome back to Minutes by Minutes. I'm Elgin Nichols. And I'm Dave Kenny. And we are talking about the Pollyann Trail and all the kind of things that are going on with the Pollyann Trail. Actually, um, 
let me see, the trail report, or the manager's report, was rather extensive. Uh, she's inst they've installed a new culvert uh, with roughly about uh, one ton of uh, crushed stone in the area. Where does that cross? Uh, that crosses, where does it, Lakeville Road is where it crosses. And so that, you should see some improvements down that end of the trail. It crosses Lakeville Road? Mm hmm It's near Lakeville Road, placed along Lakeville Road. Okay. Alongside. Okay. You know, is along, running alongside. Parallel to. <laughs> Parallel to. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so uh, what else? Okay. Eagle Scout Logan uh, has finished, uh, let me see, what did he do? He's finished his marching band, which he's involved with, and he's also working on the Powell Street Park site. Remember that? Uh, picnic area that they're developing. Yeah, uh, yeah. Scout Logan is the one working on that. <clears throat> I see some trees cut down yeah. and what have you. Yeah. Just well finished. Yep. <laughs> and uh, Sue Ayers' um, bench. You know, there's been donations for it. And Sue, that's who, Sue who? Ayers. Ayers. Bel Air. Bel Ayers. That one. Not Ayers. Yo, know, I say that on purpose <coughs> so that you will correct me. That I way did. people will know who it is. Otherwise, they'll never know. He tests me to see if I'm awake. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, I tell you, folks, that's a job. <laughs> Let's see. Anyway, so Sue Bellairs. <laughs> I was waiting for the cue. Okay. Not twice. <laughs> she, she has a bench that <clears throat> has been labeled, you know, for her uh, at Powell Lake. And actually, they're, I think they're looking <clears throat> for a name to name that particular park. So if you have any ideas out there, contact the uh, trail manager out there. So anyway, uh, that's part of what went on. Steve, Holly Park. Uh, yeah, Steve Leach <laughs> has also been active uh, with the Clarkston Road location for the fountain. Remember we talked about a fountain going Oh, yeah, open? yeah, yeah. And so... Works off an electric pump. Right. He's going to handle <clears throat> all the installation of it. Uh, <clears throat> he's going to get the actual fountain within the next week or so. Is it a fountain fountain or a drinking fountain? It's a drinking fountain. Oh, okay. Drinking fountain, yeah. Not like Bellagio. Right. And by springtime... <laughs> yeah, right, not that one. By springtime, he should have that installed. And he's generously offered his time. And uh, I think the only cost was like a $100 fee, you know, for the permit. And uh, that's really low because uh, actually the township lake, or the Orion Township has really reduced the cost to the point that uh, you're, normally it's like about five, $600. So, oh. so it's good savings to the Pollyann Trail. You folks that want to use the trail out there and you're thirsty, there you're gonna have an opportunity <clears throat> to get a drink. Okay, so anyway, lots of other things going on. <laughs> And if you want to see exactly what occurred, you can go to OCCTV.org and you click on Pollyann Trail. Click see? on Programs first, then yep. Pollyann Trail. Yeah, Pollyann Trail. You'll see it out there. There's a <clears throat> little thumbnail uh, picture out there. And uh, you'll see exactly. And you'll see the, the meeting in living color. Yep. And now gorgeous sound. Yeah. <laughs> now, I do want to talk about the Oxford Village Council meeting. Sue uh, Bassard is the uh, president or the chair. Eric Dolan is the vice chair. Dave Bailey serves on that board. Uh, Joel um, Frost, who is the newest member of the board, and you have Maureen Helmuth. Now, also on this at this particular meeting included uh, Drew Benson, who's the intern, and he did the recording. And then you had village manager uh, Evan Teach, and of course attorney Bob Davis sit on the side. So they did the pledge, went through the... Bob is on retainer, isn't he? He's on retainer, and if you exceed the <coughs> retainer, there's a contract agreement with him that you pay so much. So That's, that's another container. <laughs> yeah, another container. A deep container. <laughs> <laughs> Endless. Anyway, <laughs> could happen. <clears throat> but anyway, uh, he's been pretty fair in the past. <laughs> he's spent a lot of time, you know, working with the village. So um, They did interviews, and the two interviews they had, one was Joe... Um, Interviews for what? For uh, village manager. All right. And Joe <coughs> Madur was the first one. He has nine years uh, as a public servant as a township supervisor for Richfield Township. Oh, Richfield. Okay. Yeah. And has a, a, an array of background, very, very strong <coughs> background. He's worked on the uh, DDA uh, at Davis, in Davison. He's uh, served on uh, budget uh, committees and actually formulated... Uh, Expense accounts and so forth, and budget, uh, and budget, budget, budgets. One of those guys. <laughs> anyway, the budget guys. So he talks the talk and walks he the talks walk. Talks the talk and walks the walk. He does. <coughs> and uh, let me see what else he's got here. Oh, they needed a uh, tax assessor, 
uh, for his township because the one <laughs> that he had uh, apparently was not functioning at the time, was ill or something. Okay. And so he took the test. He had four weeks to do it in a very comprehensive test, over 250 questions. And in order to pass the test, he, he became the assessor. He passed. All right. So the guy has got, got some, yeah, got some skills there. He said there's a need. So he said, <laughs> yeah, feed the need. So he did. So anyway, so he, uh, uh, furthermore, he has uh, planner experience, that kind of thing. Um, he, as far as uh, formulating uh, grants, uh, TAP programs, that kind of thing, he's familiar with all of those. He's also familiar with uh, MIRS, which is a retirement program, investment program. Is Davison in Richfield Township? Uh, it's, uh, it's not in Richfield. I don't think so. Could be. I'm not sure. I couldn't tell you. Okay. Take a note. Well, you use the two terms. Yeah. I just wonder. Take a note. <laughs> so noted. It goes on, on that oh. stack of yellows you have over there. <laughs> About that high so far. They're color-coded. One of these days, maybe for Christmas, we'll start reading in some of those yellow ones. Let's see what we have. 2013. Wow. Okay. <laughs> yeah, 2013. <laughs> so anyway, um, so quite a, quite a vast background that this gentleman had in terms of ex experience. <clears throat> the next person was Kathleen Logan. And um, actually, I believe uh, uh, she's known as Katie, or Kate. Okay. I think she ran for Senate also. Uh, she works for the uh, um, Veterans uh, Association or organization and has been with that group for quite a while. And she's done grant work and that kind of thing. Very nice person, very, mm -hmm. very uh, outspoken. Any municipal experience? Huh? Any municipal experience? Very little. That she has. Um, not familiar with mirrors. Not familiar with, with mirrors. M mirrors, you know the retirement program. Mirrors. Oh, oh, okay. You know that one? No. What? <laughs> okay. See, now that would throw you out of the contest immediately. <laughs> that has to do with. But now I know. <laughs> now you know. Yep. So you could pass that part of the test, maybe. <laughs> oh, I learned so much from you. I know. Anyway, <laughs> we'll see how much you forget. Uh, so anyway, so they did interview her, and <clears throat> she uh, didn't really have the same type of qualifications as the other gentleman did. So they did vote to approve him as a prospect and offering him the job. And uh, so that individual will hopefully be offered a contract, Joe Madur. And so maybe we'll have a new village manager coming up. Now, they did cover a couple of other things. They approved the minutes for several meetings that they had in the past and bills for $131,433.13. They also assigned people to various uh, boards. And oh. I want to say that uh, Sue Basardic used to serve on the Communications Commission. She no longer will do that. Maureen Helmuth was appointed to that position. And um, let me see what else we have here. Eric Dolan would be appointed as an alternate to NOTA, or I mean, I'm sorry, as sitting on the board, and Dave Bailey will be an alternate for NOTA. The Sardit will serve on the Pollyann Trail, and the alternate supposedly would be Eric Dolan. However, I saw Dave Bailey at the last meeting, so I'm kind of confused on that. Is one. Basardi on the Pollyann Trail already? She's on the Pollyann Trail. She is. Oh, okay, so and, that's not a new. That's yeah. not new. Okay. And there's lots of other assignments. Uh, Jack Curtis, of course, was reassigned to the Planning Commission. And if you want to learn more, again, go to occtv.org and check on programs, and you can find Oxford Village Council meeting for November 14th. What do we have coming up? One shining moment. <laughs> One shining moment. <laughs> the OACCC, the Oxford Area Cable Communications, will be meeting on 11:27. That's it. That's it. But they meet all the time at the uh, Village of Oxford Council Chambers. Okay. Well, I'm Elgin Nichols. What? what? <laughs> I'm Elgin <Elgin> Nichols. <laughs> <laughs> now, go ahead. But who are you? I'm Elgin Nichols. And I'm Dave Kenny. Okay, so next time, right here. See uh, you then. Minutes by minute.